Guys, I've found a great opportunity to move to New Zealand in 2024. Starting November 2024, there will be a life-changing opportunity to move to New Zealand. They are inviting qualified candidates to move to their beautiful country. And guess what? It is absolutely free. Qualified candidates will receive an offer of 10,000 New Zealand dollars. This offer is open to everyone. Whether you have a degree or you're yet to have a degree, you can apply. This is to attract talented individuals from all walks of life. There is no English test score required, no age limit, anyone can apply. Plus, there is no application fee. That sounds too good to be true, right? What even makes this opportunity so special is New Zealand offers a high quality of life for its residents, excellent health care, and a strong education system for international students. It's a dream destination for many foreign workers and international students. It's the perfect place to start a new chapter with no language barriers or age restrictions. You may want to apply after watching this video. I'll be displaying the direct link on the screen so you can start your application. Now, before I get this video started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's free of charge. You can also share this video with your friends. Give it a massive thumbs up. Let's get started. Hello guys, you're welcome to Immigrate with Ami and today we are going to be talking about some exciting opportunities which has a lot of funding benefits as well, okay? So if you have been looking for an opportunity to study in an exciting country and in this case we are talking about New Zealand, if you are looking for opportunities to study in New Zealand with, you know, scholarship offers, both at undergraduate and at graduate level and with the additional benefit of not having to write an english test okay if your primary language is english then this video is actually for you so in this video we're going to be talking about the international scholarships that are available in this particular university in new zealand okay i'll be showing you the different types of scholarships that they have both at undergraduate and at graduate level also be showing you exactly the key deadlines for application and by the way they have multiple entry periods within the year and even for 2024 there are still two additional application phases that you can apply for i'll be showing you the list of programs that they currently offer at different study options so you know either a research master's taught master's graduate certificate undergraduate program postgraduate certificate for those who have completed bachelor's but are not really interested in moving directly to a master's program and of course they have opportunities at the doctoral level for those who are interested in phd programs we'll review the entry requirement we'll review the application process the different steps that you would need to undertake if you want to apply to this university by the way i've actually looked at their application offer and I cannot even see that they have an application fee. All in all, this is like a great opportunity for you if you have been positioning yourself and you have been searching for opportunities to study in a school that offers you a lot of financial benefit as well as other added benefits of studying in a place like New Zealand. And don't also forget that New Zealand has exciting immigration programs, especially for those who have studied in that country previously. Okay, so guys, we are talking about the Lincoln University International Scholarship. So that is like the core of this video. Of course, we'll also review some useful information generally that can provide guidance to you if you are interested in applying to Lincoln University. Okay, so we are starting from their International Scholarships page. Okay, and as you can see here, they offer many scholarships to international students to help grow their opportunities and their potential so the good thing about these scholarships is that they are typically based on the academic achievement and the abilities that the student demonstrate so let's take a look at some of the international flagship scholarships that they have they have the english for further study award which is one type of scholarship they have the lincoln university international pathway merit scholarship they have the lincoln university international undergraduate scholarship they have the Lincoln University Undergraduate Vice Chancellor Scholarship. 
they have the Lincoln University International School Leaver Scholarship, they have the 180 credit taught master's merit scholarship and each of these scholarship has different information that you can review. Aside all of these international scholarship that you know I've shown you guys, if you go below the scholarship page, they also have some additional types of scholarship that you may be eligible for. Okay, so if you look at, for example, this 180 credit taught master's merit scholarship, as a master's student who is also an international student, you can get up to 10,000 New Zealand dollars if you are studying in any of the following programs. So they have listed here a couple of master's programs, okay? And if you apply to these programs, you are eligible to get a scholarship offer of 10,000 New Zealand dollars. They also have a second category under that same scholarship for which you are eligible to get up to 7,000 New Zealand dollars, okay? And they have a list of master's programs for those scholarship category okay so please take your time to review all of these different scholarship options especially if you're an international student review the international scholarships available either to undergraduate student if you want to apply for an undergraduate student or for the master's scholarship if you're interested in a master's program let's talk about the application deadlines one thing i like about lincoln university is that uh, generally within the year they have multiple entry periods okay so they don't only run like you know a one application phase system as you can see here there was a previous phase which already closed on the 1st of may 2024 but if you're interested in enrolling as an international student they have a november 2024 intake okay and they also have a semester one 2025 intake and for both of them for the november intake for this year 2024 you have up until 1st of September to apply. And by the way, if you're an international student, you do not need to wait till the application deadline. You can actually apply right away so that you can quickly get your offer and you will have more than enough time to start the visa application process. They offer a lot of different programs depending on the qualification that you are seeking to enroll in. Okay, so they have bachelor's programs, they have certificate and diploma programs, they have English language programs, graduate certificate, graduate diplomas, honors programs, PhD programs, postgraduate certificate, postgraduate diplomas. Both of these are for people who already have like a, you know, an undergraduate certificate and they are really not interested in a direct master's programs. Okay, so they can actually apply either for the postgraduate certificate or the postgraduate diploma. They also have graduate certificate and graduate diplomas as well. They have research master's programs. They have study abroad and exchange programs. They have taught and research master's program. And then they have, you know, taught master's programs. Okay. So if you click on each of those bars, depending on the qualification type that you're interested in, you will see a full list of all the programs that they offer for each of those qualifications. If you click on any of the specific programs, you can see all of the full information about the programs that you are interested in. So let's talk about the entry requirement if you are interested in applying for a program as an international student. For the undergraduate entry requirement, if you are an international student who is applying for a bachelor's program, if you click on this drop down, you would actually see a full list of all of the requirements if you want to apply for an undergraduate program. Okay, now for postgraduate entry requirement for those who want to apply for postgraduate programs, like the taught master's programs, you can also see the full list of the requirement for you to actually apply to Lincoln University. One thing I like about this university is that if you come from a country where English is your primary language or your official language, they do not actually need you to write any English test, okay, for you to be eligible for application. So if you want to apply for a master's program, you would need a proof of your identity, like, you know, the data page of your passport, your academic document, okay, including your academic transcript and like your certificate or your diploma if you have completed your qualifications, okay? Now, the evidence of English language proficiency is only required for those who do not come from countries where English is the primary or the official language. Next document you would need is your CV or your resume, even though they are saying that it's optional, but it is actually useful for them to be able to evaluate your experience to support your application, okay? And the only thing is that you need to keep it brief 
and include your tertiary education and any employment or project experience okay if you are interested in the other types of programs like the taught and research masters the research masters and the phd if you click on the drop down you will see also the list of requirements that you would need to get if you want to apply for these programs okay additionally for undergraduate programs since you know uh, undergraduate you know students are coming from different parts of the world what they have done here is to uh, give like a list of requirement by country you can look for your country on this list okay and then you can see exactly intending undergraduate student the minimum requirement for you to apply to lincoln university and finally if this offer sounds you know exciting to you and you would like to take on this opportunity the school also has like a very seamless very simple application process by the way i cannot see anywhere on their website where they request for an application fee which is also good especially for international students who may want to apply maybe to multiple programs okay if you are interested the first thing you would need to do is to create an account on their online portal which is called the my link account okay the link for you to create that account is already here so if you click on this my link you will be able to go ahead to create your student account okay the second step will be to now log in and then submit your application okay so you would need to choose a study program you need to select when you expect to start you will need to give information about your previous study including your last year of high school and if english is not your first language you would need to provide a standardized english test result okay and of course other document to support your application if applicable okay so once you submit it will just be for you to wait and receive your offer when an offer has been extended to you by the way if you're having issues uploading your document on the application portal they have provided an email here that you can actually send your documents to and it, they will also be able to help with the uploading and of course in you know to further the processing of your application okay so once they extend an offer to you you would need to check any conditions on the offer letter and then accept your offer so that you can start the study visa application process okay overall i think lincoln university is a great choice for international students who are looking for scholarship opportunities who are also in the long term looking for more permanent immigration like the new zealand pr or other immigration programs that they are currently running for people who studied previously in New Zealand. So all of these useful links are in the video description. You can check it out and make sure you apply well ahead of the deadline if you are an international student. Thank you for watching.